Welcome to another Coach's preseason interview here, this time with Golden Plains head football coach uh, Travis Smith joins us. And uh, as we look ahead to the football season, uh, sponsored by uh, Farm Credit of Western Kansas. Uh, coach, what do you expect for this football season? And we're very excited with the move to six-man football. We think it gives us uh, our best chance of winning, and uh, we look to be very highly competitive. All right, folks, if you want to know a little more about the Bulldog football team here at Rexford at Golden Plains High School, just go to openspacesports.com. Well, Coach, let's talk a little bit about the change uh, from eight-man to six-man. Uh, first of all, a process that you probably didn't happen overnight. You guys have been thinking about it for some time or not? We have been looking for uh, quite some time to make this move from eight-man to six-man. Um, we have kids in school. We just don't have a lot of boys. Um, this year we're going to have 16 out, but seven of those are seniors. So looking to the future, you know, next year we may have 10 or 11 out. So this is, this is the move we had to make as best thing for our school. It helps us keep football in our school, and, and you know, we're really excited about it. Are the, and the kids are excited about oh, it, I assume. Oh, very excited, very excited. You know, um, you know we're going to get a chance to play teams that are in, you know, really in our realm of uh, size of school, uh, number of kids out, um, just be more competitive. It's a game that is uh, wide open because of the way you play it. Explain a little bit uh, how it's played and then how that will uh, affect your kids in terms of how you'll play. It is uh, very wide open. Everybody's eligible, even the center. So even the big boys can get out and can get a pass every night. And you've got to feed them every once in a while to keep them happy. But you're going to see a uh, premium on open field tackling. That's going to be, the, especially for us, you've got to be able to open field tackle. If you can't one-on-one -on -one tackle, you're going to be in trouble. Um, Really defensively, we're going to have to be able to play more man, um, not so much zone. We're going to be able to have to stick on um, receivers better than we have in the past. And for us, premium is the conditioning. You know, it's a, it being a wide open game, we're going to have to you know, keep kids on the field and we're really going to have to, really have to condition. Do you have to spend more time now in the first week and a half before you play on the conditioning realm, uh, yeah. realm of this? And did you talk to the kids about coming in a little bit better conditioning. Yeah, we, we talked about, you know, you can't see conditioning as a punishment. It's something we're going to have to do to be in shape. You know, you watch the Olympics now, you see those soccer players up and down the field for 45 minutes at a time. We're really going to have to put our we're conditioning three times a day instead of our two like we normally do. So we put an extra conditioning session in just because there's kids that we're not going to be able to take off the field, and they're going to have to be in shape. As you look at your schedule and the teams that you play, I think you've got your own league so set up. We do. It's not sanctioned by the state uh, as far as six-man is concerned, but you do have your own uh, playoff system in place, so that's got to be kind of exciting. It is. Um, everybody will make the playoffs, so everybody will get a first-round playoff game, and then uh, from there, if, if you win your first playoff game, everybody's going to get a chance to go to Dodge City. Um, we're going to have a sanction by the Dodge City Sports Commission. They are going to sponsor a third and fourth place game and then a championship game. Um, they're going to bring all the kids down to make all state. Um, they're going to pr uh, purchase medals for them. They're going to do a big uh, shindig at halftime of the uh, championship game. You know, bring all those kids out and really try to amp up the effort to move six man forward through Keisha. Where will the championship games and third place games and that? weekend games be played in Dodge City? They're going to play them at the high school on their new, on their new field, the one that they share with uh, the community college. They're on the turf, so, you know, we're really excited about it. Of course, uh, the field is the same size as an eight-man field. Mm -hmm. uh, first and 15, not first and 10, that's first an adjustment, 15. isn't it? It is, it is. It's a big adjustment. And one thing else that's a big adjustment is that when for the ball to go forward, it's got to go backwards first. So the quarterback can't take a direct snap and just run with it. He's got to pitch it back for the ball to go forward. Well, listen, good luck to you. It's a new arena of football for Golden Plains and for other schools in the WKLL as well. Coach, good luck to you. We'll cover some of Thank that you. action. Thank you. And uh, good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. Coach Smith joining us here from uh, Golden Plains High School here in Rexford, Kansas on Open Spaces Sports. Thanks for joining us.